Welcome back to another video of mine. I'm actually traveling right now, but I really wanted to film a more detailed video about my experience as an exchange student in Rotterdam. And I got some questions about how it is to live in Rotterdam, what to consider moving there. I took some notes for this video. I have my notes here and I'm going to go through all the important information you should know if you want to live in Rotterdam. And if you only want to have like a travel guide or places you can visit here in Rotterdam, you can skip to the last part where I talk more about what to do in your free time in Rotterdam, what spots you can visit and which are nice places to go. So my Erasmus semester in Rotterdam is over, but overall I really enjoyed living there and I would recommend it to anyone who's thinking about moving to Rotterdam because it is such a livable city. The people are so nice. It has the port, it has the city center and it's just really nice to live there. So first of all, let's start with housing. Housing in Rotterdam is such a difficult topic because it's uneasy to get like an affordable flat. And I was browsing through different pages. I was chatting with people on Facebook and other like platforms. In the end I was super super lucky because I got a super nice flat in Rotterdam Nord over the platform Kamernet and you have to subscribe to it. You have to pay around like 30 euros and you still have to text a lot of people. I was texting at least 10 people per day for like weeks because a lot of people still don't respond to your messages. There is no guarantee that someone will respond. It's the same with Facebook. I think a lot of people I know also found their flat on Facebook. Of course, what you can always try is to get into student housing. There are different student accommodations on the campus, but also around the campus. It's hard to get into student housing because they only have limited spots. But to be honest, um, if I look back, I'm happy that I didn't live on the campus because it's a nice area to live in, but like this, I was more flexible. I saw a lot of other areas of the city that I wouldn't have seen if I just spent most of my time on campus. Also platforms like Housing Anywhere, I would recommend and my pro tip is start early. Like you can never start early enough if you want to move to the Netherlands. So my second super important tip would be to get a bike because of course you need a bike if you're going to live in the Netherlands. I never took like the train or the metro. I never did that. I was always everywhere by bike. I got my bike from Swap Feeds. Maybe some of you heard of it already and I would absolutely recommend to get a swap feeds because if something is wrong with your bike you can always go to the store to let them fix it for you for free. I got a swap feeds with a basket because I think it's just super convenient to put like your backpack in your basket if you go to uni or somewhere in the city center to the market to get some fruits so I would absolutely recommend a basket as well. So before getting more into how it is to actually study at EUR I wanted to talk about the intradays and the Erasmus student network. They offer a lot of different activities and I took part in the intradays in the beginning of the semester. I think it was like end of August and I would absolutely recommend there if you're an exchange student or even if you're going to do your whole degree in Rotterdam, go to the intradays. We went to different parties, we had like meetups, we did some picnicking, mini golf, we went on the pancake boat that was really nice so we ate pancakes on a boat and had like a beautiful view. Yeah, check out the Erasmus student network because you also get a lot of discounts. They also plan events during the semester. So, so now let's talk about actually studying at Erasmus University Rotterdam. I personally really enjoyed studying at that university and they offer a lot of courses in English, which is a huge advantage for exchange students and they offer whole degrees in English too. I think most of their master degrees are in English. I am studying media and communications in my masters and the university actually offers three different programs in that field. I think the programs are called media and business, media and creative industries and the last one was called something like media society and culture or something like that. It was so cool because I could just do a little mix and match of the courses I was interested in. One semester is split into two terms in the Netherlands and I took two to three courses per term and I think that is a fair amount because you have ongoing assignments during one term. Sometimes depending on what you are studying you also have midterm exams. I for example had to hand in a video project once with my group which was really fun actually. Nice and engage with the, um... 
also I had to write a lot of small papers in between so it can be a lot if your courses are very intense. Overall I love to study there. I really like the teachers and I also like the way of teaching and I think it was way more practical than at my university in Berlin. So now let's get into the campus. First let me give you some tips for when you're going to eat at the campus. There's the food plaza where you have like different food options but it's a little bit pricey I must say. And you also have like a Starbucks in there and then you also have a spa right next to it where you can buy snacks or like a little salad and stuff like this. <laughs> A pro tip is there are coffee machines with tea bags all over the campus and if you go to spa there's actually a place where you can get like hot water out of the sink so if you just grab a tea bag and want some tea you can go there with your own cup and then in front of the food plaza in another building there's actually also a restaurant where you can eat it's like a proper restaurant so the food is a little bit more expensive but there's also a bar and they offer an open mic i think the first monday every month maybe this is going to change so check it out i went there and it was so fun there are people singing on the stage or like little bands which <laughs> friends and then there's like another bar in front of the sports center people who are working there are actually volunteering i wanted to get a job there but then i found out that i don't get paid for it there are all students and the drinks are quite affordable i think a hidden spot which is an absolute pro tip is the sports cafe because it offers different lunch and dinner options every day and they cook it for you and it's also quite cheap so yes, definitely go to the sports cafe if you need like a cheaper food option. Because there is a sports cafe, there is of course also a fitness studio. I really like the fitness studio. It's around 90 euros for like five months and I didn't use it that much to be honest because I really like just running outside. They also offer courses and my friends really enjoy to go to courses there. And there are also like different hidden cafeterias all over the building. You can just walk around and check them out. One is in the Teal building. There are a lot of nice libraries on the campus too. My favorite library was the main library and also the law library in the Sanders building. And a huge plus is that you can take all your stuff into the library. Then there's like this living room, chill room with massage chairs in this new building. So if you need a place to rest, you can go there and just lay in the massage chair for a while. And they also have some games to play. So now getting away from the university context more into like the free time and what you can do in Rotterdam, places to visit. First, let's talk about clubs. So I personally really like techno music and I would say there are like two bigger techno clubs in Rotterdam, which are a little bit more popular Popular, and these are Poing and Perron or Perron. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it right. I really often went to Poing. They have different acts. You can also check out their Instagram pages for like the events. And I really liked it. I can show you some sequences of the club. <laughs> get tickets at the door but we always got tickets on the websites beforehand. Another bigger club which is more mainstream is Annabelle's and it's fun if you just want to sing along and just want to party a bit to like charge. Also went to karaoke bars quite often and my absolute favorite is Salon Tropica. It's really nice especially if you are there with like a bunch of people. It has a nice atmosphere and you can just choose your songs and have a good time. And there's also another karaoke bar. I forgot the name but it's also really nice. Check them both out if you like to sing. Now I don't want to get into detail too much but around the station Endrachtsplein there are also a lot of bars you can check out which are very nice. 
we really love the bar Café La Bru. It's like a jazz cafe. Every Wednesday they play live jazz music. <laughs> first Sunday they now also have like blues events there so if you are into jazz or blues go there other cafes would be the backyard cafe which is really nice if you want to have breakfast or study a bit and also right next to it is the Anne and Max cafe which we also went to quite often <laughs> <laughs> For like exhibitions or art, I would absolutely recommend the Kunsthalle. They have like changing exhibitions, but I went to one with some friends and I was amazed by the artwork of this artist. Yeah. But I don't know how he's gonna take. Do you like those things you see in Denmark? I guess it's painting. Yeah. This looks so real. There's also the photo museum which shows really nice photos and you can learn a lot from the photos they exhibit. I would also recommend to go to cinemas in Rotterdam. There are a bunch of nice cinemas and also there is the Rotterdam Film Festival. If you are there at that time, I think it's in February normally, absolutely visit some films. They show independent films of smaller artists and we really enjoy to go there. So how did you like the movie? <laughs> Good mix of Vampire Diaries and Twilight. Kira, how did you like the movie? Uh, it was great and satire of vampires. Uh, really funny. <laughs> market in front of the Markt Hall is also really really good. You can get a lot of fresh food there and also second-hand clothes. So we went there often just for second-hand shopping. And in Rotterdam Nord there's also this food market which is open every Saturday and I loved it so much especially the falafel there is super super yummy. Yummy! Yeah we need to find a spot in the sun to food. <laughs> have the chance go on a water taxi it's so nice especially in the evening hours or at night <laughs> last but not least go to Kralingen Park if you like nature if you need to get out of your head sometimes you can definitely go to Kralingen Park it's such a beautiful park there is this lake in the middle and in summer you can also swim there. I went swimming there. Sometimes I think they have problems with the water so you should check out beforehand. But yeah, I always went running in Kralingen Park. One round around the lake is perfect. It's like five kilometers. And also every Sunday there is a petting zoo in the Kralingen Park. They have so many sweet animals. I really love to go to Kralingen Park. Oh, also, I really recommend also if you like running to run at the port in the evening hours in Kralingen. It's so unbelievable, beautiful. I will also put some videos I took in here because, yeah, I just really loved it. And of course you have to go to the Erasmus Bridge too when you're in Rotterdam. So now this is really the end of this video. Overall, I really enjoyed my time in Rotterdam. I love this city so much. It gives you like big city vibes, even though it's quite a small city. If you have a bike, you're super spontaneous. You can be everywhere around like 15 minutes. Hope this video helped you and gave you some glimpses of how it is to live in Rotterdam. See you in my next one. Bye.